Hello, I'm Jason, and this is my pilot vlog for qualifying and completing the Spartathlon. The Spartathlon is a 246km ultra marathon, both road and trail, in Greece, held in September every year. I first come to know about the Spartathlon, or unknowingly came to know about it, based on a trip back in 2018 where I was heading back from Sparti to Athens and we saw some of the runners uh, coming up heading south. We couldn't really identify what the bib said or what the race was for, but after a bit of research when we got back, or almost 12 months after we got back, we identified it to be the Spartathlon uh, coming down that road. It was, the weather was terrible, and the, the runners really looked like they'd been through hell and back, which was sort of piqued my interest a little bit as to let's find out more about the race. Now it is one of those races that you do need to qualify for. So this vlog is here to help me keep motivated in the effort to actually get to this race, possibly in 2022 or 2023, depending on when I can qualify. The next 24 weeks uh, is a training plan in which brings me up to a number of events that'll help me qualify to get into the Spartathlon, namely a 24 hour uh, race and a 60 kilometer ultra marathon in the Great Ocean Road. My running CV started probably about six years ago with the Great Ocean Road half marathon, which was probably my first formal uh, race, which was quite an eye opener, both in uh, getting blisters almost for the first time uh, to understanding how much pain the legs are in after a, a marathon or a half marathon being new to running. I was never a long distance runner. I was always a very short distance uh, sprint runner. So going these long distances was very foreign to me. And so when I started, I was probably about 15 kilos overweight. Again, the cliched story of being overweight, too much, too much working and focus on that, not enough on my health. Came to the point where it said enough is enough and started the running. Had a friend who suggested do try some running, longer distances, so I started. My first run was three kilometers long before I set, stopped and considered calling my wife to come and pick me up. From then on, it's got, it's got a little bit further than that. So from the Great Ocean Road half marathon, I went on to move into getting into longer runs and started to train for marathons. Got about 10, 10 of those under my belt now. And I'm a middle of the pack runner. I'm pretty happy with being at the middle of the pack. Um, I've broken a four hour marathon twice I think now. The rest have been based on how much training I could do or couldn't do uh, as to the times I got. Post the marathons I got my eye on to triathlons which was I looked at that as the next pro progression if you like and so started to do a number of uh, training for uh, some half Ironmans and then very quickly went to do on a, went to do a full Ironman in New Zealand. So all in all, I think I've done over six half half Ironman distances, and one full Ironman distance uh, in New Zealand, which was a great experience. The uh, it's a, a day where it's, it is the epitome of doing an ultra uh, event, where you're there since seven in the morning to into the night to actually get across the line. From there. My interests are still doing triathlons and I still love doing uh, marathons as well, although I will admit that marathons hurt more than actually a full Ironman, which was a very big surprise uh, to me as well. But then a friend I've got uh, also is into ultra running and suggested uh, this weekend or a particular weekend and said, hey, how about we look at a, a hundred kilometers? sort of very intimidating 100 kilometers and it was still about six months away before the actual race date um, because I remember they had a special on a cheaper price to enter so we both entered for the 100 kilometers and I thought well that's one of those things where you click first and think about it later. Long story short I eventually did the 100 kilometers and that was that was a big 12 hours so again what's the next step what's the next level it did take me a week to be able to start to be able to walk properly again after that and also comprehend what actually happened mentally as well 
uh, that was new. And they say a lot of the stuff in the ultra stuff is, is mental. It's a mental game as well as a physical game and can sometimes be strong. Uh, being strong physically is not enough if you can't mentally actually drag yourself around the track uh, continually. It is a continual argument the whole time. So next is let's have a look at these big ones. So this is uh, the 246k Spartathlon and the attempt to get to it. So the 24 week training plan is one that I've developed. It's based on a number of training plans that I found off the internet, a couple of our ultra marathon sites, as well as listening to a number of ultra marathoners and their tips in training. It is very different for me than the ones that I've done for marathons before. There's a lot of concentration on consecutive runs to ensure that I understand and get used to the idea of running on tired legs consistently. So there's a number of big consistent runs in those ones. There'll be a lot of learnings for me with respect to hydration and nutrition. Um, that's something that uh, for a marathon, you don't hugely have to worry about with respect to you're not running for 24 to 36 hours. You're running for, for me, for around four hours. So it's around about hydration, gels, some sugar, etc. What this, what this vlog will do is it'll take us through the next 24 weeks up until those events and, and hopefully beyond. We'll keep, keep things going based on the success. But it'll give you an idea as to what works, what doesn't work for me. Um, but most of all for this for me is to keep me motivated keep me accountable to the actual training plan so that I get to where I want to be at the end. Um, 2nd of November is when the training plan commences. So I have been doing running before that. So which is just to keep the legs going, um, ensure my base is there. So I've been doing a number of runs multiple times a week. But I also have in this one also in the in lead up to the, the training plan is doing a lot of strength work as well. Um, all over the body, um, not just legs or arms or anything like that. It's a full body uh, strengthening exercises um, and, and 10 week plan that I've been on as well. So I'm going to go into the training plan quite well prepared, hopefully, uh, with respect to a base for running as well as strength. I'll keep that strength work going up to hopefully almost the, uh, the end, although when we, when we get to about week uh, 20 odd we are doing some significant kilometers every week so the the ability to be able to do so much by then with both respect to strength as well as all long runs the strength might have to give a little bit as I approach the actual um, race and qualifying event in light of the in, in to move over for the running uh, during those times but I'm pretty uh, adamant to make sure that I keep a strength element within the actual training program as well to ensure that I'm ready and I'm strong enough to actually uh, keep the uh, keep the hours up as we go through the race. So it's going to be an interesting journey. It is going to be more than likely a painful journey, but I'm looking forward to the rewards at the end or the achievements at the end and what comes through the journey and the learnings and the, the mental strength and the physical strength that I'll be able to derive from it all. And so hopefully, hopefully the, the vlog will be entertaining and uh, keep everyone interested and uh, work out well. Thanks.